With the map editor out now, let us expand our two mega pops and two tower chimps videos into some of these gorgeous maps made by an array of different people out there. Today we're going to be looking at Pumpkin Path made by H-Bomb. You may have heard of them, you may not have heard of them, but today you have heard of them and you best subscribe to them as well, okay? So yeah, new game, let us get cracking. So we're going to be aiming for two mega pops with the Apache Prime on this map. It is one of those towers which is really easy to get once you get it. Like Apache Dart Ship is very powerful, but Apache Prime, that is a whole other level. So how are we going to start on this level? We're going to start by placing three darts down here. And then... We are going to, well, well, press play. So hopefully this is going to go very well. I've done a test game and it's gone very well, but I always think the most difficult rounds are the starting rounds with some of these. Other times it is, well, <laughs> it is just a simple luck of a draw of whether or not you're able to pass through that round or not, depending on what these towers are acting like at any given point in time. I'm hoping that these three dark monkeys will suffice uh, when we are able to get Geraldo. I think in some cases the map editor is a little bit bugged because we are playing on chimps, but yeah, look at this. You can sell towers. That's not what's meant to be, Ninja Kiwi. And there's another thing which I'm going to show you later on, which is also a little bit of a bug as well. Oh, actually, I may not show it, but I'm just going to explain it to you. In custom maps, if you have a, a um, an Arctic wind down and you can place down a tower on water in which normally couldn't be able to be do so um the ice particles below the tower doesn't show up so it's like if the land tower is floating on the water no this is not a reincarnation of jesus christ how dare ye assert me of that kind of thing okay so at the back here we're gonna need a shooty turret up here put you on last Put your hold on strong so it always picks apart the, sh the fastest most balloons and then the others can clear up after that so round 11 is done good so round 12 is here we're gonna be putting down a second shooty turret i really want a strong back here so that in case if anything kind of tries to sneak on by that is not going to be the case they will not sneak on by here well, that's the aim anyways. Let's just say how beautiful this map looks with all the pumpkins about, all the hedges. It provides a unique dy dynamic, sorry. Kind of similar to hedges in a way, where you've got a lot of obstacles here. Like, the Ultra Juggernaut would do well here if placed in a spot in which it can fully utilize its bounces. Like, you wouldn't want it, let's say, over um, in an area over here where the projectiles could get trapped over here. So, let's say, over here probably wouldn't be the best idea, like um <laughs> me and my i my suggestions is not that great to be honest like i am not a person when it comes to um advice on balloons tower defense set uh, tower defense six sorry i'm not the best person when it comes to giving us sage advice on chimps mode like on advanced maps and expert maps i can't even complete a single game of them without even <laughs> without su with, with succeeding on them sorry like, I can't succeed on advanced or expert maps when it comes to chimps. I'd say this is an intermediate map. I would say mid-intermediate. I wouldn't say it's too difficult, but I would definitely classify it as an intermediate map if you're able to classify um, different maps as something in which can be cast into its own difficulty. Okay, we're going to put down our heli pilot and we're going to put it by the grey. Actually, hold on. I've got a different idea. Now, rest in peace, helicopter. I decided that I'm going to put you there anyway. So, the reason why I put it there, well, it's a nice centralized spot. I can kind of utilize a Jerry's fire there. Probably not the best spot. I'll probably need to tug it nearer the tombstone here in order to make a better use of it. But you know what? For thematical sake, we're going to put the heli pad right on the centerpiece i think I probably, it's probably just a little bit up north of the center there but we're gonna put you nice and near center of the dirt itself so 
Hmm. Quad darts is where we're going to go next. And then faster darts after that. And you're probably wondering how we're going to deal with round 24. Well, it's going to cost us uh, 55 overall. So we're going to be doing just that. We're going to be placing ourselves... Not you. <laughs> We're going to be placing ourselves a pile of old nails. Sorry, a stack of old nails. We're both doing the same thing at the end of the track there. Just so that we don't have to use a little bit of money, or well, a little bit more money, on something which we can avoid. Round 26 is here. Good, good, good. Lovely, lovely. Uh, some of these pink balloons can be a little bit annoying though, but alas, we are here. And yeah, those will clear up the rest. Okay, so we're going to go to faster firing. And when we go to round 28, we're going to pause the game. Hold on. We're going to turn off water start for the time being. I'm going to think about what we need to do for round 28. Because round 28 is going to be a little tricky because of the fact... Where on earth are you going, helicopter? Because of the fact that we're now dealing with lead balloons... I don't want to place you near the start of a trap because then you're still too many, well, a lot of pops. But then I don't want to place, to place you too far away because then I won't be able to get to you. But if I put a village nearby, then the alchemist will be able to affect the start monkey down here, which will take away the attention. So I may not even get an alchemist. But what should I get instead? I really need something that... Uh, can only target leads when I re actually I've got an even better idea mortars for that that's all I'm gonna do mortars would you oh uh, you're still set on only that okay so pursuit there we go and then also I think in update 39 this well striker jones has received a new ability to where every so often the ability can be activated. I don't know what it's called, by the way. The ability can be activated, and the artilleries actually follow your mouse cursor instead, which is nice. It's a nice quality change of life sort of thing, and you're not abiding by what I want you to do. Thank you very much. Pop those leads, please. There we go. Do that. Do that. Do you want one thing I would love, Ninja Kiwi? is if you can make it so that the cave monkey can be buried somewhere within a custom map. Like, that would be a pretty nice thing to have. But then again, that will take away the exclusivity of Frozen Over. So, perhaps not. But it would be nice to have the option on a snowy themed map. Because I don't think we've got the, the layout for a snow map just yet. Like, we've got one for desert, got one for urban... Uh, got one for swamp, water, but we don't have one for snow yet as far as I know. I might be mistaken, but we definitely got some other environments, but definitely not a snowy environment. We've raised the rotors, now we don't have to worry about leads as much, but when it just came down to round 28 and not being able to afford razor rotors, this mortar here was necessary. It is buried within the pumpkins. Also, like the fact that Azealia's frog is over here as well. That's really cool. You're trying to get all those tadpoles out of the water, ain't ya? That's why you're near the pond. For all those lovely tadpoles that you love to consume. 38. 38. So, we're going to be saving for the Apache Dart Ship. And then we're going to go for an MIB with Jungle Drums. Then we're going to go with an Overclock. And then after that, the Apache Prime. Now 39 has been done and dusted. Hopefully you'll be able to take on everything. Question mark. Yeah. Okay. We may need to restart this round and hope that we have enough firepower in tow so that we're able to deal with this. But I want this to be able to follow the Moab as soon as it's able to get here. So patrol. Good. Good, 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 good. And this should be okay. Should be. Oh, okay. That's good. That's good. Okay, okay. So the pile of nails back here was kind of necessary in order to stave off that last balloon there. Forty-one is here. Goody good. We're going for it quite nicely. Oh goodness sakes! I'd rather not rely on this last line of defense back here. But you need a good back in order to be able to handle the front. 
or something but on on those reliability sort of things uh, 43 i also love these fireflies near the tree here it gives the tree a bit of a mystic feeling to it and speaking of mystic how am i going to get through this round sharpening stone and jar of pickle should be good for this uh, if each of the darts did a lot of damage, then Pickle would be a detriment more than a help here. Because you have to rely on darts, which are nece aren't necessarily a strong projectile. But with Pickles, it means that you do get an attack drop. But at the same time, rather than doing one damage per dart, you're doing two damage per dart. So therefore, you're offsetting the... Uh, attack speed lost with more damage per projectile yeah the fireflies here give this tree a bit of a mystic feeling i love the br so put branch the bench oh my god i didn't want to focus on that i need some camo detection right let's put the invisibility potion down and continue complimenting h-bombs's pumpkin garden here so i love the bench down here overlooking the pond it gives it a very relaxing feeling like Gardens in general are just lovely to look at. There's so much nature and so much love and attentive care when they're looked after properly. And also the pumpkins as well is really nice. I really love myself a pumpkin spice latte this time of the year. And I may need to reset this round so that I'm able to start popping beans as soon as possible. And it looks like that's going to be a thing. Right, let's put you over here and hopefully we'll be able to start popping enough so that we're able to deal with all of these ceramics as soon as we can but it's still looking rather hairy i don't want to use continues i don't want to pay because that is outside of chimps okay we're really struggling around 48 here at the back most of the map but because of the other towers here we do have a kind of a last line of defense sort of thing our lack of pickles is really <laughs> is really hindering us here yeah this is a tower in which you are kind of relying on the round just uh stopping before the next round starts so that we're able to fully utilize the um the heli's potentials stop eating all of the, the, the tadpoles in the pond there frog I'm going to give you one last chance before I ordinance you into oblivion. And I've got to pay attention to the map again. Hopefully we'll be able to get through it. There we go. Round 49 is here. And we should be able to afford the Apache Dart Ship on this round, which will be beautiful. There we go. Now our next objective is to get a radar scanner down, which is going to affect our helipad as soon as possible there we go grow blocker and then radar scanner from there there we go good now we don't need to rely on any more invisibility potions in order to, for us to be able to uh pop camos see and pop camos hope you're having a lovely day where you are and please let me know what maps you'd like to see me play next in the custom challenge editor sorry custom um Oh gosh, map editor. There we go. That's the correct terminology. Thank you very much. I was about to write a very mean comment about your incorrect terminology of this feature that has recently added to update 39. And I say recent as because of the timing of this recording in acquaintance to when the map editor has been released. So there we go. Context is needed. If you've made it this far into the video, then please be sure to give it a like, comment, and subscribe, and let me know what you think of this map. And I think it's beautiful. I think it's a really well-designed map. So, um, yeah, if you also made it this far, rip frog. Right, round 60, our first BFB has spawned from the archway, which is really odd because they're bigger than the archway. So how the hell can they fit their gigantic uh, propellers through that and their gigantic bodies? I'm going to have to question the balloons themselves to see how they're able to get such a gigantic body through such a small space. 
for goodness sakes, why am I questioning Balloons Tower Defense 6 logic? <laughs> if I was ever to make like a like weird facts about Balloons Tower Defense 6 and stuff like that, I think how such a large behemoth able to fit through such a small space is going to be one of those weird facts. Let me know what other weird facts that you see within a Balloons Tower Defense 6 game, which is like, that's just... That just doesn't make any sense, but you know what? Because this is a game, we're not going to think about it too much. But hypothetically, if this was kind of like a real life scenario, then where would you go from there? Like, it's so weird that a, such a huge thing can fit through such a small space. But again, this is a game, so we we're not going to think too much about it. Down now, we're going to be able to increase the attack speed of our beautiful Apache Dart ship. Alchemist is almost pointless on a Apache Dart ship, or mainly because of the Razor Rotors, because every time the Razor Rotors spins around, that in itself is an attack. And if you think about it, the amount of times that it spins rounds, and there's three of them, I believe, or no, four of them, there's four rotors in general, so therefore it has four opportunities of attack and the amount of times that it spins around indicates that well it's using up a lot of the alchemist if it's ever laid down onto the field with the tombstone in this garden law wise there could be some kind of remembrance like with the bench here like the previous owner of the gardens here and this could be some kind of really famous gar really famous gardener of this particular realm and they used to sit on this bench when the garden was still looking like this perhaps some of the trees were just a tad bit smaller and perhaps these pumpkins were never here actually and this is a more modern thing well mainly because of the fact this is called pumpkin garden maybe it was a different kind of garden if it's not halloweeny but then again you can grow pumpkins in all time of year but i think people have associated pumpkins with halloweens because of how big pumpkins can be but also as well how well they're able to handle themselves when they're carved from the inside out like other fruits would disintegrate from the outside and collapse inwards because of the fact that well they kind of had their center removed but with pumpkins they're very they're a very sturdy fruit even if you carve their innards out round 77 and we're talking about the anatomy of pumpkins in this particular episode but then again this is called pumpkin garden and there's gonna be a point in this video which we're gonna talk about pumpkins in a garden with pumpkins okay also we're 20 22k away from the apache prime sorry 23k away my bad and my mathematics round 78 and we are doing wonders yeah the more the monkey is near uses now but those 47 pops meant everything and because we are only got to this point because of the mortar for goodness sakes round 79 so yeah please let me know what other custom maps you like to see me play it may not even be like for a two mega pots or two town chimps but i'd probably prefer to play on chimps honestly because that's like that really tests out how um how good of a map that it is when it comes to be able to play on it effectively because some maps are going to be really hard like extremely hard like a, i've seen a person made dark street which was a balloons town defense 5 map into Balloons Town Defense 6. Like, we've been making like retro maps like from like Balloons Town Defense 4, Balloons Town Defense 1. And I think like when the map editor was announced, people were doing that. And I saw this meme was like, what if Ninja Q is not going to bring this map back from a previous game? I guess with the map editor, we're gonna be doing it ourselves. Oh, we're kind of struggling here. They're making it two thirds of a way into the map. And let's see what we're going to be doing with this last slot. I'm hoping we're going to be able to do that good. We may even need to put down a glue gunner, honestly. We're going to put you over here so that you can affect DDT. So I know this obsesses us a little bit when it comes to the Apache Prime, but I honestly think it's going to be necessary when it comes to 
being able to get through the rounds necessary so that we can then get the Apache Prime. Hmm, these fortified balloons, yeah, they're going to be an issue. I honestly think these fortified balloons are going to be a bit of an issue here. Uh, if we're able to get through, no, we're not going to be able to get through the rest of this round, so... Because it is! If we're able to shoot through this little gap here, that would be brilliant. But I don't think that gap is big enough for a projectile to fit through. We never know. So, we're going to be putting pickles on our Apache dart ship so that we have a better time against fortified balloons. Yes, we will lose some of our attack speed. But as a gain from that... Yeah, these fortified balloons are now going down much easier, which is nice. Yeah, fortified balloons on the previous round were our Achilles heel in this case, and we really don't want that. Round 83, pretty good. Well, so when it comes to custom maps, uh, I think for the most part, I'm probably going to be making only one or two videos per map, because I'd like to try as many maps as possible. And if you have a map yourself you like, for me to play then please by all means put it down in the comment section below i put the code in the comment section and i will definitely check it out i'll probably put like a screenshot on my um uh youtube communities page as to like see which ones i've favorited so that you know that i have given it some love and attention then and there apache prime is nearly here and 23? Are you serious? That is a bit of a troll, isn't it? <laughs> so close, but yet so far. But in the end, it will matter. <coughs> Excuse me. I still got a bit of the, me the popular Mexican brand beer names is a um, name that is attributed, not attributed, but the name itself is attributed to, um, well, you know what I mean. Anyways, we have the Apache Prime, and this is what we call game set and match. Let's put that on there so that this can be able to uh, uh, A, have longer range, but be able to stick on DETs. Yeah, I think this is a bit of a better spot. It catches them a bit later on. Round 88. Round 89 is soon. Yeah, once you get the Apache Prime, it's really hard to lose. There we go. So what are we going to give the rest of our money? I think another overclock is necessary. So we have 100% uptime on the ultra... Sorry, the overclock. Sorry, not ultra. If I said ultra boost, then my apologies. So there's that. Okay, so we've run out of pickles. We're going to be laying down some more around 95. Because of the fact that we won't need it for around 100. And it will kind of off kilt us when it comes to the bad itself yeah i want to i want to really hold off because round 98 round 99 that's oh, also round 97 as well that's when we're gonna really need the pickles in place ddts would you kindly go away this is our garden this is everyone's garden except yours balloons Round 94 is done and dusted. We can no longer apply sharpening stone because we're firing lasers rather than the, um, you know what I mean. Right, we're going to be putting down another overclock over here so we have 100% uptime. So we're doing on the first one. Uh, there we go. Okay, yeah, kind of struggling a little bit against the DT, he's not going to lie. Let's see. Yeah, we've got another one now. Every time we have the overclock, then we're going to just deploy it. Round 96 is kind of done. I'm beginning to think that we don't actually need this for this clue, to be honest. I feel like everything else is necessary, but just not, <laughs> just not this. This is probably not necessary. It's helpful, but not necessary. And that's sometimes what you need. Helpful, but not necessary. Round 97, yeah, we're dealing with this. And I think Heroes, regardless of the uh, map, it's the um, map itself, they're always going to be set so that Heroes level up as if it's a beginner map. So that's a thing. So we're just going to put everything that we can on it now. Do that, do that. Um, 
Nothing else really. There we go. Keep on going. Uh, yeah, we're gonna use quarter arms at another point. Use another one over here. Use another one down here. May never know. There we go. We're doing wonders here. And this bad is gonna go down. Hmm. I don't even know why I'm doing this, but we're doing it nonetheless. Use another overclock. Hmm. Yeah, we'll save everything else. Hmm. Another call to arms, yeah. And another one, up. there we go. And a set, I was gonna say another one. So that is, oh my God, we're 65 pops away from 2.040 million pops on this map. So I believe there could be other ones which are possible on this map, and definitely. Like I'll be trying to do a Sky Shredder, but I honestly can't afford it because I keep needing to put other stuff back here in order to wade off the balloons, especially like the regrow rounds. They're the most annoying ones to deal with. So yeah, definitely giving it a thumbs up. I'd say check this map out for yourselves. It's made by H-Bomb, another content creator in the Balloons Tower Defense space. So thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what other map you'd like to see me approach next world's longest map i'm feeling a ray of doom from that one honestly and also showing the same pfp as so pfp as well which is lovely this one could be optimal for i don't know if you're able to do it then spear of advice because look at the amount of track length that you have at your disposal like this is definitely a good two mega pops map the path oc transpo takes to university clark's fantasy map that's a quite a lovely looking map oh my god amongus oh god definitely try that one out at some point btd1 oh this is a lovely one vaporian's garden france versus zombies this is a really nice take i think there's like three different tracks one of them's on the water and the other two are these ones here as well Ladders look good. Oh, this one looks beautiful as well. Oh my god, Balloons Tower Defense for the beginning of the map. I, uh, if you like me to see you do one on this map, or any of these maps. Oh my god. That is so beautiful. Like, these 3D maps look gorgeous. It's a different perspective. Yeah, different angle. Uh, <laughs> bronze if it was good. Uh, where's the track? <laughs> this is a troll. Uh, Tranquil Trail first monkey shooter where's the track on this map i love when it's like scenery and it's up to the player's perspective as to like where things are farm and forest is a lovely looking my looking one copyright infringement um yeah i'll definitely want to do it on all of these maps i'll definitely try and look as many as i can uh skewers valley i'm feeling a if it's possible if it's possible then solder uh two mega pots on that one Let's see what other ones there are and i'll spongebob squidward path hey this looks familiar ah oh, this is the opening of the main menu that's brilliant hey where's 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 what true sun god in the in the background or the sun temple in the background uh sus among us desert bus uh me this is a good sniper map as well actually yeah, actually, I think these long ones here are good for snipers. That's tax zone. <laughs> How many loops is that? And uh, this is also good for ice as well. Uh, in the loop, but with a twist. Um, so what's the twist on this one, may I ask? The barrel's still there. Um, so yeah, what is the twist on this particular endeavor here? Bloom popper out of space. I imagine if this is a very hard map because you can only place uh, towers on these objects here. So that's kind of good. A, sh a stupid lawn. This would be ideal for Spear of the Forest, actually. Huh? <laughs> Where's the map? <laughs> Where's the road? My wish orders a shipping route. Oh, I imagine that's quite long, but also this is really well. Well, not really hugely well detailed but this is really good like i don't remember europe looking like this but again europe has a lot of curves on it 
There we go. Two forts. Max Wolf a cat. This is really cute. Rub back. Pet the head of a cat. Slow funk. Uh, we'll check out one more page. Park path, but at a different angle. This is really lovely looking as well. Probably not water as the map. Then again, it could just be the sky. Underground hot. Oh, this is beautiful. Monkey labelers. Oh, this has a lot of um, a lot of flashbacks to me here and there. How would you make it so it looks like that? Like that is really cool. How people are able to do that. Like, like obviously they have to put something down here to make it look like it's actually blended in. But how do people do that? That's beautiful. Ocean mode. Bloomstown defense four. Another one. Harvest. Choose your stuff. Oh my god, that's beautiful. Another Pokemon themed one. Like, you could do like a, um, oh god, you could do like a, tri try and do a theme here, so it's like you can only place towers down in the Charmander uh, triangle, or one and only the Balsa one, or in the Squirtle one, you could only put down aquatic towers. Don't, that monkey couldn't swim! Don't take this seriously. Well, I am okay, because I may play it, wink wink. There. I cannot bear this! I'm just kidding. Ghost Town. Is it this one made by... Oh yeah, this one was made by Ethan Reed. It's a really nice map. Oh. Let me know if you'd like me to play this map. I'm going to give... Oh, I should have done that actually for all of these. I just favorited all of them so that I can go back. You know what? I'm going to do that later. You know what? I'm going to I'm gonna check out one more page. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's another Squidward looking one. The balloons are coming. This is a lovely looking one. Uh, oh, Battlefield Smash Bros. Ultimate. I remember looking at this and like, oh, many fights were put here. Sussy Seclus. Okay, I think this outro has gone on for long enough, but we're only on our second day and people. Oh, this is great. SpongeBob favorites will be put here. So if you'd like for me to do a particular map next, if it's just like playing it, then. I would be more than happy to do that. So there we go, everybody. These are some of the maps in which I will be covering at some point. So I, I, I'm going to... Whoa, this is a, another issue as well <laughs> here. This is a bit of an issue here, Ninja Kiwi. If you go out from the community page and then here, a blank screen appears. It's almost like the town here has just entered into the ether. Sorry for the long outro. Thank you all so much for watching. Take care of yourselves, everybody.